Okay, so welcome everyone again to uh, Basic Photoshop Tutorials. This is episode four. Uh, this episode we'll be doing um, color on a black and white photo. You'll see what I mean by the end of this. Uh, I was originally going to do photo merge, but uh, Donnie got to that already. If you don't know who Donnie is, I'll set up a link in the description. You can check out his videos. They're pretty entertaining. Okay, so let's get right to it. So let's first of all open up our image. So file open and my image will be on the desktop so I don't need to go searching around for it already on there um, so just go ahead and double click and open your image once that comes up you'll uh, be able to choose what it is you want to keep as a color object so I took this picture earlier I'm gonna uh, attempt to upload it to Flickr so you guys can use it if you'd like and I'll give you the, the link to that as well in, in the description so this episode, though, we'll be handling, a, we'll be dealing a lot with the um, with the pen tool. And if you don't know how to use the pen tool, I recommend maybe going through a few tutorials uh, about how to use it first. Um, if not, just try to follow along as best as possible. So the first thing we are going to do, however, is zoom in on our object, and that object in this case will be our orange right here on the table. Um, if you'd like to, cho you could choose whatever you'd want, but in this case, I'm going to keep the orange as the main focus. So go ahead and draw a, a little square around your orange using the magnifying glass uh, and zoom in. Uh, so that is just simply left click and hold down and drag. And uh, there we go, we've zoomed in. Make sure you leave a little bit of space around your orange or your object so that you can um, see what you're working on and uh, keep it clear to yourself. So I go ahead and choose the pen tool now. It's on the in the toolbar here. And uh, you'll notice that uh, my pen tool is already on pen tool. If you are on any of these other options, make sure you're on pen tool. Okay, and next thing we're going to do is make sure the path is selected. So you have shape layers and you have paths up here and you have other options. But for this, for this particular one, we want to keep it as paths. Okay, so with those selected, pen tool and paths, um, go ahead and... Um, start drawing around your object just around the outside of the of the object so that is simply done by holding the pen down so it's left click hold and just start dragging along it now the first one is your starting point don't drag too far along but basically guide your next uh, click around that orange so you'll, you'll notice that I've created a little box with a couple wings on the side and that's to guide the next um, next pen uh, spot around the, the orange you'll see what I'm saying here so choose a little farther down on the edge again hold it down left click hold down and just drag so you start to get a curve around okay and you want to follow it as best as possible um, if you don't get it perfect we'll come back to it okay so keep going around your orange here and again if it's not hundred percent accurate don't worry about it we'll come back to it and I'll show you what I mean in a little bit so I'm just going to continue this orange here. I'm not going to do a 100% job on this one because it is a tutorial and I don't have all day to spend on it. Okay, so now that we've got our basic outline for our orange, uh, you'll notice there is a few um, spots here that I have missed on the orange. So to correct those, simply grab the um, direct selection tool. Um, that's not to be confused with the path selection tool. The direct selection tool is white. And just click once on a line and you'll notice all the boxes come back back up and your paths um, can be manipulated. So grab wherever you're needed to uh, change uh, your path and just play around with the options. By grabbing the line you can move the entire line. It's the best way to do it in my opinion because it, uh, it uses both axes of the boxes to uh, manipulate it. Uh, you can grab the uh, the single bar axis instead if you'd like. That does change a bit of the shape, but for this for this particular object, we just need to grab the line. So, like I said, I'm not going to make this one 100%. And you can also grab the boxes to move the lines out if you'd like. Okay, make it as accurate as possible for yourself. Um, and the, and the more accurate, obviously, uh, the cleaner it will look and the better it will look. Okay. So I think that's about good. I don't not gonna like I said I'm not gonna get too crazy here. So now that we have our, our outline selected using our pen tool and we have our, our paths where we want them to be, we're going to switch to the path layer. 
Okay, so sorry, the path uh, option box. So if you go up to your layers option box, you notice there's a few other options. You'll, for me, I only have channels and paths. Some other people, you, you'll have more than I have here. Simply click the paths tab, and it'll take you to the path. And you'll see work path um, is, is now in the paths uh, window. Simply right click on work path, uh, just right click on the window portion of it, and make selection. Okay. So once we've made our selection, this box comes up. You want to make sure the feather radius is at zero because feather radius blurs your object. You don't want that to happen. And you want to make sure new selection is selected. And just hit OK. And again, that creates this uh, marching ants around your object. And uh, basically what that is is we've selected that object now. OK, now go back to your Layers tab in your Layers window and create a new layer, which is the which is the which uh, is at the bottom here beside the trash can, or again, in the layers menu under new so go click new layer okay and then um, simply we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste that's all we're gonna do don't cut because we don't want to lose any of what's there we don't want it to move around so just go edit copy I'm sorry actually you have to select the background first which is your original object so go to edit copy and then back to your layer layer your new layer and then edit paste so nothing really happens but we did we did cut out the orange so obviously you see it here on the screen the orange is now cut out and we can do whatever we want with that orange or do nothing at all it's totally up to you okay so next thing we're gonna do is uh, go back go ahead and zoom back out so choose the, um, the magnifying glass and then uh, fit on screen here and then we're gonna come back to the original screens but now we have the two layers and we could uh, we could just see what we've done there so obviously we've cut out the orange okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the background a black and white color so it will uh, contrast to the orange here and make the orange stand out significantly. So that's simply done by selecting your background and going to layer, I'm sorry, image, adjustments, and black and white. Okay. So make sure you have your background selected. Go to adjustments, black and white. There you go. So now you see obviously that the this well first of all the black and white option uh, layer box comes up and you're also your background has changed you can manipulate as much as you want in this black and white section I'm just gonna keep it as is okay so let's just hit OK on that so there we go we've got our black and white with our orange sitting on the table now if you wanted to get even more fancier you can cut out the the, the reflection on the table you can cut out the, all the fruit if you want and repeat the steps Okay, and just to add a little bit more depth to this picture, I'm going to go ahead and make the orange. Uh, I'm going to change the adjustments on the orange as well. So click layer one again. If you want to do this, it's totally optional. Go to click on your layer, option, adjustments, and levels. And your level box comes up. I'm just going to darken it a bit and sort of just play around with some of the lighting on it. Okay, and just so it really stands out. It almost looks fake, but I kind of want that to happen in this case here. Okay. And there you pretty much have it. That's all you really need to, to know for this one. Uh, it's very straightforward again. Um, and like I said, you can get really fancy with these kind of things and experiment a bit. And uh, that's what Photoshop's all about. So again, um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you subscribe because there will be plenty more of these videos to come. Uh, rate and comment especially. And, uh, and that's about it. So thanks again and uh, have a good day.